group of volunteers is determined to make sure no kid sleeps on the floor in the city of Syracuse. They are taking matters into their own hands and building beds for those who don't have one. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc spoke with the leaders of Sleep and Heavenly Peace after their first delivery over the weekend. Building toward a better future for children. So we build beds uh, and we donate them to kids who are sleeping on the floor through no fault of their own. This group of volunteers joined this summer. They're part of a local chapter of an organization called Sleep in Heavenly Peace. Chris Hussick is the one who found out about the company. And I knew instantly if you can combine power tools with helping kids out, it's a win-win. Before laying down the groundwork to start a chapter in Syracuse, though, they asked first responders if locals could use the help. Every one of them said, yeah, quite a few of the houses, you'll walk into bedrooms and kids will be sleeping on an air mattress on the floor, or they'll be sleeping on a mattress on the floor, or they'll just be sleeping on the floor in their clothes. Those kids are now given a chance to get a free bed set, including sheets, framing, and a mattress built by the hands of SHP volunteers. It's for anyone between 4 and 17 years old. The group has already built 40 headboards for 20 beds, and they say even that's not enough for the demand. All their hard work finally coming to life last weekend when they visited their first home. We got to deliver two beds to two beautiful little girls. Uh, before we left, I, I know the one little one was extremely happy. And though the volunteers wish they could do more, they say they're touching on a much larger issue. And no kid sleeps on the floor in our town. Um, that's what our goal is, to just make sure that every kid that can get a decent night's sleep can get a decent night's sleep. Changing children's lives, one bed at a time. In Syracuse, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. Now, Sleep and Heavenly Peace had another build Sunday afternoon where they made five more beds. If you know someone who could use the help, head to localsyr.com. We'll show you how to submit an application.